Hello and welcome to another video from Richard Black's CPA's office. In today's video we are going to be going over how to set up a multi-factor authentication method to your NetClient Portal CS. What this multi-factor authentication method is, it's another level of security you can add to your portal so that you can assure that nobody but yourself is going to log in and view your documents. What we're going to do here is you'll notice that I'm already on our home screen. We've logged in. You'll click up here on your name and you'll see the option for manage multi-factor authentication. We'll click on this and you'll see that I have no devices paired to this account. So we're going to click on add option and then we have to enter our password. And once done, we're going to be prompted to set up this multi-factor authentication. Now, you also could have done this when you first set up your client portal, but more or not, you probably hit remind later if you didn't know what it was. So this is how you're going to set it up. We click on get started, and then we have three methods here to choose from. The most recommended one is this Thompson Orders Authenticator app, which you just download the app to your smartphone. Of course, there is third-party apps you can download or a special device you can order that generates the code. But for this video, we're just going to use this, which is the recommended one anyway. So we're going to choose it. And then it says go to your app store, whether you're on iPhone or Android. And you're going to download the Thompson Reuters Authenticator app. And here's what the logo is going to look like. We'll hit next. And I actually already have it downloaded on my phone for purposes of this video. You're going to, it'll prompt you to scan a QR code. And within the matter of seconds, we are paired to our portal. Now you can rename this phone. You can name it your name, a nickname, whatever you want so that you know what device is paired to the account. We'll hit finish. It's going to give us some codes here. You can either print it or copy it. I'll just go ahead and copy it because I don't I don't want to keep these. I don't want to print them. I'll paste them to Word later. And then we just hit done. And now you'll notice that my device is now paired to this account. Now let's see what the whole process looks like when we log in. So we'll log out. And now we go to our website here. We've clicked on client portal and now we'll enter our username and then our password forgot to press the key and now instead of taking us directly to our portal it first asks the app hey someone's trying to get into our account do you want to let them and if you see on my phone, I hit the green check mark. And within seconds, it lets us into our portal. I hope you found this video helpful. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.